So let us see what kind of numericals you can expect. That is out of this only. That will take up as a numerical later on. He is saying there is a fourth equation of motion. All right. All of you, take this question. You have. Oh, the diagram is not part of the question. Oh, by the way, by the way, going forward, I am telling you something which you should follow. Okay, which you should follow blindly. Don't apply your brain. Okay, fine. I can. I need not do this. I can solve this question without doing this step. No, but then. I want you to follow these steps even though it is one of the simplest most question which you can solve verbally also. What will happen is that when you follow the steps even for the simple question, difficult question will also look like as a similar, as a simple question. Okay? It happens. So force yourself to follow all these steps. Okay, step number one in solving any physics numerical, be it from any chapter, is what? What is that? Draw the diagram. Very good. Draw the diagram. Why? Because you are not solving first of all a mathematics question. You are solving a physics question. Don't treat it like a mathematics thing. The difference between physics and mathematics is that physics you have to visualize, you have to understand what is going on, physically what is going on. And you will understand only when you draw the diagram. Okay? If you draw the diagram properly, then that is half the question done there itself. Okay? Next step is you have to represent what all things are given to you. It might be given, you know, Ram is going to uh, take bills from a shop and then he has given that person 100 rupees and he got 10. All non-surgical kind of information will be given which has nothing to do with solving problems. Okay? So you will not draw the Ram and then he is going to take the milk and all that. No. You will have to find out the useful useful information from the question and draw and write down in an abstract manner. For example, in kinematics, you know that kinematics is an interplay between few variables, displacement, velocity, acceleration, time. Okay? So, as you are reading the question, draw the diagram. In the diagram, try to represent the motion variables. That, okay, U is this, S is this, T is this, like that. Okay? And then you don't need to read the question again. Ready? You have transformed oh, the, the question from the word format into mathematics. Now you can treat it like a mathematics. Alright? But then these two steps you must have to follow. Even though you are doing it for simpler question. If, if you do it for simpler question, then only you can do it for difficult ones. Okay? If you, if, you, if you have never followed this step, how will you be able to do for the difficult ones? Okay? Anyways, here is the question. Why you, why you listen to the question? Try drawing the diagram yourself. A particle moving with uniform acceleration from A to B along a straight line. A particle moving with uniform acceleration from A to B along a straight line has velocities v1 and v2 and a and b respectively ok c is the midpoint between a and b c is the midpoint between a and b determine the velocity of particle at c understood? so you should have drawn diagram like this this is a B, here V1 velocity, here V2 velocity and this is a midpoint C since it is a midpoint its distance x by 2, x by 2 what is the velocity over here like this, I want this kind of diagram ah, acceleration is constant you can write down like that also acceleration is constant Do it now. It 
it's your choice of variable. You can take it as u and v also. Then what do you take for c? Anybody got it? One of the students. Others? X is not given. You have assumed X. What is given is V1, V2. That's it. So what? It is two-step, two-step solution. You will be like, you know, uh, you may be, you might have used to uh, using these equations of motion where acceleration is given. That is the problem, right? So assume acceleration is A. Okay? Assume acceleration is A and then remove that variable when you solve. Assume A is given and then remove A while you solve. Next 
type of questions. They should get used to this question. I mean, uh, class 9th level numericals will not come. It will never be like, you know, everything is given, but just one variable is not there, just substitute and get the third variable. Write down the question, a bullet moving with velocity 10 meter per second. Hits the wooden plank. The bullet is stopped when it penetrates the plank 20 centimeter deep. Okay? Bullet moving with 10 meter per second hits the wooden plank. The bullet is stopped when it penetrates the plank 20 centimeter deep. Calculate the acceleration of the bullet. Or the If I was moving constant velocity earlier, na? before hitting the plank. That is immaterial because before it hits the plank, the velocity was constant. The velocity is changing only after it hits the wooden plank. Find out the acceleration. What else is given? Initial velocity is given. Distance covered is given. What else is given? Final velocity is given. It is zero. Are you getting it? So this distance 
is 4 meter. This is the distance travelled in the third second. Are you getting it? Total time is 1 second only. But that 1 second is your third second. Alright? Okay? I want you to find out how much is the distance in the nth second. Try this. Guys, have you got the UT dates? The first week of July. 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 First so, as the syllabus and the schedule is out, uh, please let us know. As well as possible. <laughs> Alright, so the formula which you have, which is S equal to ut plus half a t square, what does that give you? Suppose I am using that formula S equal to ut plus half a t square, what is this formula? What does this give you? This, this gives you total displacement. Suppose I put t equal to 3 seconds here. What will I get? I will get this distance. Yes or no? 4 plus 3 plus 2, 9 I will get. Are you getting it? Understood? So this is total displacement till n seconds. If I put t equal to n, I will get starting from t equal to 0 till t equal to n. What is the displacement? Maybe uh, n minus 1 during 3 seconds minus 1. Ah, exactly. Like that you have to do. Ah, correct. Now tell me what is the answer. So you have to use this. You have to use this to find distance. Correct. Distance travelled till n seconds minus distance travelled till n minus one second is the answer. Can you calculate quickly? Ah, correct. Something wrong. You made some silly there. You skip, skip the steps now. What is that? U minus half. So half you take from See, n is dimensionless, n has no dimension, n has dimension of time, you are adding dimension of, you are adding A is a time. Some silly way, right? Okay. You are all making silly errors. See, distance travelled till n second is u into n plus half a into n square this you know till n second right distance travelled till n minus 1 second is what u into n minus 1 plus half a n minus 1 whole square so distance travelled in the nth second is this minus that ok so this minus of that is u plus half a n square minus n minus 1 whole square. We will get u plus half a 2n minus 1. See, it might have done some silly error somewhere. Okay, this is treated like. This is treated like your uh, fourth equation of motion at times. 
but it is derived from the third equation of motion itself. Okay, you can solve the equation without, we can solve a question without knowing this formula. But then it helps to solve quickly if you know this formula at times. Any doubts? Any doubts till now? Nothing? 